Hello guys, Jazz the Gamer here, and we're back with another tutorial for Rival Kingdoms. And today we're going to discuss the lightning agent called Jalik. So as always, we are going to review his powers one by one. Then we will go over some ways to use each of those powers efficiently with your troops on the battlefield. And then we'll go over some pros and cons to using Jalik and some tips to help you out also on the battlefield that you may have not noticed before. Interesting thing about Jellic's first power is that it gives you two options. The two options are called negative charge or positive charge. Now for negative charge, when you cast it upon your troops, it will grant them 20% reduced damage for a period of time. And if you cast positive charge upon your troops, it will grant them 20% bonus damage for a period of time. Now, while either one of these two powers are affected upon your troops, they cannot be cast upon with the opposite charge. So if you have negative charge in your troops, you can't cast positive charge and expect them to change. They have to, the power has to wear off first and then you can cast the opposing charge if you wanted to. Now, if you have two separate troops with opposing charges and they are within close distance to each other, they can actually heal each other for a set amount, stacking up to five times. The second power is called reverse polarity. What reverse polarity will do is swap the charges of either the positive or negative of the affected troops, cleansing them of any common debuffs and causing them to gain double healing from all sources for five seconds. This reverse polarity will also renew the first power's abilities. And it will, and when I say swap, what I mean is that if they had negative ability, they'll be switched to positive, and if they have positive ability, they'll be switched to negative. The third and final power is called Typhoon. Typhoon will strike the target building for a certain amount of damage, and then it will strike up to four nearby random structures. Now the strikes only happen three seconds apart, and it will not strike the same building twice. Now for the tips on how to use Jalik. First tip I want to offer is to keep your troops as close together as possible. The closer they are together, the better your chances are that you will get the healing effect of your first two abilities. The second tip is for your second power, reverse polarity. If your first power, the negative and the positive charge are working effectively to heal your troops, do not hesitate to refresh that ability with the reverse polarity. Even if you see a spell tower and your troops are not in range yet, use it because if it's a freeze tower, they're still going to receive that healing ability. If it's a crippling tower, they're still going to receive that healing ability. The only weakness is a spell tower with curse. You may want to save it for the curse or make sure you have enough mana to fight against the um, curse spell towers. Now, speaking of mana, we're gonna get into the next tip. The next tip I want to give you is to make sure that you equip the astral stone called Jalix Charge. Jalix Charge will grant you one additional mana for your positive charge. That's when it's common. Now, as you increase the rarity of your astral stone called Jalix Charge, you will get additional benefits such as uh, more increased mana, increased healing, increased damage, and increased reduced damage. My final tip for you is to save your final power. Your last power is not as beneficial as the first two. The first two grants a significant amount of healing and it will also grant you reduced damage. That is more important than the uh, final power which will destroy um, buildings and random buildings around it, not really doing a lot of damage to begin with. Now for the troop composition. What I suggest that you put on the battlefield are one set of maulers, one set of soldiers, one set of archers, one set of paladins, one set of primus rages, mages, sorry, primus mages, and another set of the mana hunters. Now, if you have not unlocked the primus mages yet, well, then you can swap them out with another set of paladins. Also, if your primus mage has not been locked, unlocked to the ability where they can also heal, also swipe them out for the 
two paladins. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Angelic. He's a very interesting and very powerful lightning agent. I had a lot of fun playing with him. If you guys have any questions, please comment, like, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later and take a look at the battles that I did and see how I used the powers effectively to only heal, not only heal, but cause damage. Until next time, guys. Adios.